This is the first video for day 3 and we are going to continue our discussion about variables and data types. If you are interested in watching the previous videos on this topic, before you continue, the links are given in the description box. So we know what are variables, how to create variables and how to print it. We know that the variable name comes first, then the equal to sign and then the value. We created variables like uh, uh, book, pet name, puppy, games, etc. For values, we know that we can have integer values which are numbers and string values which are alphabets and words. What about the names we give for the variables? Are there any rules we need to follow when we give names? Yes, there are four simple rules and we will see them one by one. Rule number one. Can we give number as a variable name? No, Python does not allow number to be used as variable name. Let us go to Python and see an example. So I write 1. So I have given my variable name as 1 equal to within quotes. Let me put code pun. This statement will give an error. Let us save the file and run this code. Let me tell you an easy example to remember this rule. So you've got the error, right? So how do we remember this rule? We do not give numbers as name for people, correct? Do you have a friend named 10 or 27? No. Just like that, let us not give numbers as names for variables also. Very easy to remember, right? Okay, now let's go to rule number two. Spaces are not allowed in the name. Let us see an example. So I want to create a variable for my favorite color. So I write favorite and space color equal to within single quotes. I write red. So this is how we would write if we are writing in English or maybe sometimes in max, right? So we have given space between favorite and color. So this will give an error. Let us save this file and run the code. See, we got an error. So, if we cannot give space, how do we create variables like best name, favorite color, book name, etc. We cannot always use single words, right? Color, book, name, etc. Right? So, there has to be a way to do that. So, we can combine the words and I will show you two ways that are commonly used by programmers around the world. Okay, one is book underscore name where we will add the special character called underscore to create the variable name or book name with a capital N where we put the first alphabet of the word second word in capital letter. Remember we created a variable pet name and used it in our code. We can write that variable as pet underscore name or pet name with a capital N. So you can choose whichever method you like. So let us add these two to our code. So I write favorite and I add the underscore here color to red. Next I write one more line where I can write favorite capital C color equal to within single quotes red. Now let us print these two variables. So we can write print, open the bracket, close the bracket within, I mean we don't need quotes because we are printing a variable. So I write favorite underscore color plus favorite capital C color. So let me add this line break here so that it gets printed on the next line. So I can write within single quotes a slash n. Let us save the file and run the code. This example shows two words but we can add more words if we want. Let me add one more word to these variable names. For example, let me change the variable names to my favorite color. So I add my underscore in the first statement 
and then I add my and change the F to a capital F in the second statement. Now let us save the file. Actually let me add the same change in my print statement as well. So I add my here and here. So now let's save the file and run the code. So we got the values printed again. There are two more rules for variable names and I will explain them in the next video. If you have any questions on this topic, please leave a comment below and Code Partner team will try our best to answer your question.